uh, maybe we continue on the same theme. Uh, the theme was working together uh, and collaborating within OCP. Um, again, another major um, sub-project within server project is the NIC3, used to be called MES, but now um, more generically uh, is a form factor useful for PCIe connected or CXL connected uh, devices. Um, so we have here Damien, who is leading the uh, MES3. Uh, yep. M oh no, Nick Nick3 <laughs> uh, subgroup. Yeah. Hi, I'm Damien. You probably have heard of me before from other uh, OCP Nick um, presentation, and so might have seen me in the OCP Nick booth. So yeah, I'm the hardware um, TLM in Meta. I'm also the OCP Nick sub project lead, as Siam introduced. Right, so, so um, again, I'm Siamak Tavalayi. Uh, I've been involved with a server project for several years, and now I am the incubation committee uh, lead for server project. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I have the privilege of seeing a lot of good work. Uh, a lot of contributors come in, work together, um, uh, present problems to each other, similar to what we do here today. Um, this is a community of engineers talking and working with each other with engineers. So I do see good work being done. And uh, when I notice that um, um, groups can work together, I make recommendations. And a lot of times, uh, good things happen after that. Uh, so today, we're going to talk about um, the way that uh, uh, NIC3 uh, subgroup can work with DCMHS mm -hmm. around some of the uh, major ingredients of a server such as a smart NIC. So we'll see, we'll explore capabilities that we can draw from each other. Yep, someone touch it. We've had some technical difficulties with the audiovisual uh, system. So please forgive us, we might just have to wing it, uh, but we can because we work <laughs> better together. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Nick, Nick Tree and uh, DCMHS co-work together is actually uh, something very important to myself. So I'm also involved in the DCMHS on behalf of Meta. So that's naturally what I wanted to do. Do you have a power supply? Yes, I do. <laughs> Sam, go ahead. Okay, so um, I, I, I try to maybe dissect a DCMHS system, and then you'll see why uh, working together with uh, NIC3 team uh, makes sense. Um, a DCMHS, a data center ready modular hardware system, defines um, um, a server into multiple building blocks. Uh, of course, a, a compute engine is the HPM, host processor memory module, um, such a system needs to be controlled and be secured. DC SCM, Data Center Ready Secure Control Module, is the out of band control for that. Uh, power module is necessary and interconnect to the I.O. is necessary. But also, uh, what people have done, uh, the requirement for um, in band control uh, through uh, what we call SmartNIC as a generic term. IPU, DPU, and other, other terms other people use. So first, we recognize that smart NIC has a place within a modular hardware system. Now, w different people have different form factors for smart NICs. Uh, sometimes they take on PCIe form factors, low profile, double width, or, or full width, uh, full height, uh, half length PCIe cards. So that's what other people have done. But within OCP, we have standard for NICs. That is the uh, now NIC3. It does come in a standard form factor and uh, a large form factor. So it does make sense for us as a community of OCP uh, teams to see how we can kind of maybe bridge the gap or bridge the two concepts together. And that's the conversation for today. 
Yeah, makes sense. And hopefully we got it side though. So um, quickly to talk about some of the working model uh, before we have DCMHSS. So we have server project, we have like next up project, we work closely together. And for those who doesn't know, next up project actually have hyperscalers, the enterprise folks, the NIC and the connector vendors in the ecosystem that we have that meeting together. So every month, I go to the server project meeting, project updates, ask feedback, check alignment or directions with the server uh, project. And then the, for the closing the loop of the discussion, we also have like OCP's server co-chair, like John himself, that also rep come, and also some of the server representative that come to our meeting to discuss together to form the closed loop. So what changed after we have DCMHS? It's very similar. The only difference is now we have DCMHS subproject leads to also join the project um, meeting. And then the next part is, as I kind of mentioned earlier, DCMHS is also a dear to me because I also represent Meta into DCMHS. So I go into the DCMHS call meeting and there are actually three um, form factor development group in the DCMHS for the full width, for the Dino density optimize, and also the new one, the shared infrastructure. All three of these, I do have my team members that go into those meetings so they can ensure there's anything that's ready to need, I get to know as well. And I can feedback to the groups. For usually, we have email communication and meeting minutes in those discussion. For any things that are not in there, then we can have offline feedback through the, our OCP NIC 300 sub-project feedback forms. OCP NIC 300 is uh, being considered in the forefront when we have the DCMHS discussion. So now I want to show you what do we have achieved um, in different form factors that we propose. So this is a full weave, and it does support a single form factor, small form factor for NIC 3.0. It also supports the dual small form factor, which is increasingly uh, important. And it also supports the large form factor, one single large form factor, NIC 3.0. So for this, I would say that the modular full weave support all the major use case of the small home factor or large home factor NIC. And all of those are actually in the specs. Of course, um, if you have a use case of like, let's say four NICs or eight NICs, they are not included, but it's something that you can build upon. And how about the density optimize? It support a single small home factor NIC for this kind of smaller server, make a lot of sense. This is the MDNO type two form factors. And it support a dual small form factor, NIC 3.0, in the MDNO type three. Um, one thing I want to mention is uh, currently the MDNO spec doesn't have a provision for the large form factor. If this is something that is important to you, we need the feedback, um, especially um, looking at um, there's actually a mounting hole here. There's a kind of in, sitting in between of the two connectors. That could be a challenge if you want to implement a large form factor in this. And now I'll, I'll pass it to Sammy to talk more about the uh, smart NIC and how the comparison of a uh, smart NIC and OCP NIC, as well as some discussion on how we want to move forward as a work group. All right, D Damien just uh, uh, went over the way that smart NIC can, sorry, um, the OCP NIC can be used in a DCMHS. Mm -hmm. as uh, currently defined. Yep. So the next piece to think through is uh, the requirements of a smart NIC, um, can it be uh, absorbed by uh, NIC 3? So what are the type of uh, requirements that a system have for a smart NIC? Um, as you guys know, it, it is a NIC, but it is doing some offloading on behalf of the uh, server uh, operating system. Mm -hmm. So. Because of that, normally it is a little bit bigger and thicker and more power hungry than a regular PCIe card. Uh, we go over some of those uh, metrics in a minute. But from the topology point of view, um, it looks like a NIC. Wherever you normally have a NIC, 
but it does have some system um, um, management duties. And for that, it wants to be close to the DCSCM. DCSCM have some system management and security duties. A smart NIC has similar duties for the in-band control, whereas the DCSCM is an out-of-band control. Uh, mm -hmm. So within a system, sometimes they're actually connected. Uh, NCSI is a uh, interface between a NIC and a, a BMC, and BMC is on DCSCM, so that's just that's one model. Mm -hmm. Now, if we move forward today, we talked about uh, multi-node or shared infrastructure concepts within DCMHS. So that's when we should start thinking about a networking device that wants to span more than one host, two hosts, four hosts, mm -hmm. or, or so on. So a, a particular uh, networking device that can bifurcate its uh, host interface uh, would require a different uh, module form factor. Now, the same thing goes with the DCSCM. Uh, if there is a central element to manage a chassis uh, comprised of several uh, servers, server nodes, um, a DCSCM also needs to do the same. So a concept might be that there is a mid-plane, back-plane that houses the SmartNIC and DCSCM, and then somehow these HPMs, host processor memory modules, plug into that either through cables or backlink connectors and all be managed by the two main managing uh, elements, DCSEM and the SmartNIC. So that is the high level concept. Mm. Yeah. When, when we actually had the OCP NIC um, defined earlier, it's something that we have multi root port, multi host in mind. So that actually a pretty good fit to what you mentioned in seven. Right, so it's a little bit of forethought mm -hmm. uh, uh, helps. Now, specifically, um, smart NIC that I have seen from multiple companies uh, use more power than a regular PCIe card, mm -hmm. um, something around 130, 150 watts, um, typical or max. Uh, basically, it's more than a PCIe card, so that's the first first uh, observation. And then because of either the, because of the heat sink or sometimes they have a fan on it to cool the device, uh, or because of the number of components they have in there, it is a little bit larger, sometimes thicker, than a PCIe card. For example, a double width, a low profile card, or a single width, but full height, uh, half length PCIe card. So those are the variations that, that we've seen. Uh, now, the question is, uh, to what degree can we map all of those requirements onto uh, NIC3 that we have today? But it is good also to know that the NIC3 has variations as well. It has a standard mm -hmm. form factor and large form factor uh, with uh, capabilities on uh, two ports, for example, that mm -hmm. goes, can go to uh, more than one host. So that's basically the starting point for us. The question is, what do we do with all of these understandings, mm -hmm. with all these observations? What is the next step? So um, one could say, hey, um, collect all of the requirements for a smart NIC and plant it into what we have already defined as NIC3. Another model might be, oh, it is not going to ever work, so we have to come up with a new version uh, for the NIC, which is all right. After mm -hmm. we're looking at the use cases and capabilities, we might arrive at that conclusion. Uh, another model is um, within the uh, uh, DCMHS, there is an innovation zone defined as a free form. We can start taking advantage of that for a while, and if everybody agrees, then we can start standardizing around that. So uh, today, um, we are here before you to state these things as, as potential yeah. move forward plans but we would like to get feedback from you, mm -hmm. see which one of those makes sense. That's normally what we have done in the past several uh, OCP summits. During a November or October summit, we talk about the type of things that we will do next year, mm -hmm. and a number of companies get together, a number of smart people get together and come up with a crude specification, maybe a 0 0.5, 0 0.7, by the regional summit uh, around mm -hmm. April, uh, March, April timeframe. And based on that, some other people get together and eventually produce a prototype uh, the following 
uh, uh, year at uh, OCP Summit. You can see some of the work that's been already done around DCMHS based on the work that we did last year. Uh, I would expect similar would happen with these concepts as well, with your help, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, agree. That's basically uh, the point we wanted to share with you guys. If you have any questions, we have two minutes. Uh, feedback is a gift, it truly is. Uh, we would like to hear from you because only with uh, having uh, identified use cases and solutions that you guys uh, will provide as a feedback, uh, can we uh, build more robust solutions. Yeah, and also thanks for alignment to uh, what we have shown you. Thank you.